Speak a little bit about mind-body medicine and, and, and your approach in that. How does, how does that work? What, what do you emphasize there? Again, another big breath in. I'm just like <laughs> demonstrating what I'm talking about. Mind-body medicine is an interesting term. Uh, National Center for Complementary and Alternative Medicine has mind-body medicine as a specific modality, and, and mind-body medicine includes a number of techniques. The emphasis of the term mind-body medicine is really changing things with intention. Some people call it intentional medicine or focusing on thoughts and ideas. So meditation is part of mind-body medicine. Yoga, which is a movement therapy, some somatic therapies, qigong, are also mind-body medicine. We also have biofeedback, hypnosis, guided visualization. All of these are under the, the realm of mind-body medicine. With this idea of intentional medicine, it's, it's that through intention and awareness, we can influence our health. Most of our approach in medicine is, if I change this biochemical thing, that will affect my mood. I like to say that everything is really mind-body medicine because it's mind-body medicine and body-mind medicine. You know, change what you eat, that's going to change how you think. You know, change how you hold your posture, that's going to change your thinking as well. So it's not just all cerebral. It works both ways. But what I really like to emphasize with patients is the awareness piece. Can I be aware of what I'm thinking in the moment? Can I be aware of my intentions, how I'm viewing anything at that moment? Because do I move with it in a defensive way, a fighting stance? Or can I learn to be in a peaceful stance. I may get to work and I have a stack of charts this high. And I can go, oh gosh, and, I, and I'm already doing this. You know, mind-body medicine would help me through numerous techniques say, how do I want to approach that? Okay, how do I want to be? Can I visualize myself being done with it? Can I visualize myself breathing as I do it? The charts are there. They're not going anywhere. I have to do them. Do I want to be anxious? Do I want to be fearful? Do I want to just deny that they exist? Or do I want to embrace with what I'm doing, be present to it? And that's what all mind-body medicine forms are doing. They're teaching you a new way to be present to what's going on. Even some forms of cognitive behavioral therapy fall under the domain of mind-body medicine. I like to look at it the whole way, the mind, the body, the body, the mind, the soul, the spirit, how is all of that coming to form a, a, a picture of how are you living this world? That's what I ask all my patients. The main question I say is, how do you want to live this moment? And it's your choice mm -hmm. for most of us. We could lose our house and our job. How do you want to be? And I'm not suggesting that we all go, oh, I lost my job. I, I actually do know people who do lose their job, and they do say that. Sure, there's some. <laughs> Thank God. Mm -hmm. uh, but how do we find that peace? It's not happiness. That peace so that whatever happens, we can come back to center. And then we can mobilize when we need to. We can feel sad, and we can be peaceful about that. How do we want to do that? And I think that's at the root of mind-body medicine, asking how do we want to live.